selfie. Ah, oh, she wasn't looking. Anyways, hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we took on that bird for what I hope to be the final time. In this episode, we're going to see how many things we can get Tetra stuck on while she follows us to the basement. Which sounds like a bad thing, but... Uh, Tetra. You can follow in what is not necessarily a straight line. You him? Are you the one who is speaking through my stone without my permission? Answer me! That stone is an enhanced version of the gossip stones, long spoken of in the legends of the Hyrule royal family. I am the one who made it. You made it? The royal family's gossip stone? I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Neither of you heard the tales? Tales of the kingdom spoken of in the legend of the great hero. The place where the power of the gods lies hidden. This place. Where the two of you now stand is that kingdom. This is Hyrule. And I am his king. Daphnis Johansson Hyrule. Link, do you not recognize my voice? Indeed, I am the one who guided you here. I am the king of red lines. There is no need for me to reveal my true identity to you so long as that blade, the master sword, could defeat Ganon. But now both of you must listen to me. Once, long ago, the land of Hyrule was turned into a world of shadows by Ganon. He sought to obtain the power of the gods for his own evil ends. My power alone could not stop the fiend, and our only choice was to leave the fate of the kingdom in the hands of the gods. When the gods heard our pleas, they chose to seal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself. So, with a torrential downpour of rains from the heavens, our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves, gotten at the bottom of the ocean. Yet all was not lost. The gods knew that to steal the people away with the kingdom would be to grant Ganon's wish for the destruction of the land. But before the sealing of the kingdom, the gods chose those who would build a new country and commanded them to take refuge on the mountaintop. Those people were your ancestors. Hundreds of years have passed since then. So long as Ganondorf was not revived, Hyrule were would remain below, never waking from its slumber. Tetra, come to me. Necklace you are as part of a sacred treasure called the Triforce of Wisdom. It's been passed down for many ages within the royal family of Hyrule. Your mother passed this down to you and instructed you to treasure it and to guard it with your life. Am I not correct? The Triforce of Wisdom is none other than the sacred power of the gods that we have kept from Ganon's clutches for so many long years. The gods placed upon your ancestors the task of protecting it from grasp. You too must abide by the laws of the past. So the time has come for me to teach you the fate into which you were born, the very reason that you live.
my mate. You are the true heir of the royal family of Hyrule. The last link in the bloodline. You are Princess Zelda. Zelda? I'm a princess? You're confused, aren't you? I suppose such is to be expected. Link. I'm terribly sorry that you have been caught up in these events. Now that it is known that Tetris has been Princess Zelda, Ganon will be searching frantically for this child in an attempt to get the power of the gods that he, that she possesses. He will not rest until he has found her. Exceeds, my ancient kingdom under the sea will be turned into a land of shadow and despair, and so will the world you know above the waves. Link, I need you to lend me your strength in this dark hour. I have a suspicion about what has caused the Master Sword to lose its power. I need for you to come with me back to the lands above the water and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. Adam. Zelda. It's far too dangerous for you to join us in this task. Fortunately, the sacred chamber is not yet known to Ganon. It is my wish that you wait here in hiding until we return. Link, we must go. Link. I don't know how to say this. Everything that's happened to you and your poor sister it's all been my fault. So sorry. Link. Be careful. hoping that King of Red Lions would stay in his human form a little bit longer so we could take a picture of him but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen Weird that it doesn't count, like, I mean, I guess, yeah, it is a boat, and it's not really him, but still. Link, listen well. The fact the Master Sword lost the power to repel evil suggests to me that something has happened to the sages who infused the blade with the god's power. Sages should be here in Hyrule, in the Wind Temple to the north and the Earth Temple to the south, praying to the gods. You must he head for those two temples to see... What has happened to the sages? An attempt to find a way to recover the power to repel evil. Unfortunately, Ganon seems to have erected some sort of magical barrier down here in Hyrule blocking our path to the temples. But each temple should have another entrance high above Hyrule's mountaintops, which are now islands above the sea. As always, I shall mark these places on your sea chart. Now then, if we stay here much longer, we shall draw our enemy's attention to Princess Zelda's whereabouts. We must return to the surface immediately. Got it, buddy.
Link, you know the legend of the hero of time. Once long ago, he defeated Ganon and brought peace to the kingdom of Hyrule. The peace of the Triforce was given to the hero of time, and he kept it safe, much as Zelda kept hers. That sacred peace is known as the Triforce of Courage. The hero of time was called to embark on another journey and left the land of Hyrule. He was separated from the elements that made him a hero. It is said that at that time, the Triforce of Courage was split into eight shards and hidden throughout the land. Even I do not know where they rest. This much I do know. They lie hidden somewhere in this great sea. Might you have crossed paths with someone who knows much about the things that lie hidden in the depths of the sea? Well, fret not if you think if you can think of no one. Though maybe you would come upon the knowledge by asking around in a place where people gather. Hmm. Oh, okay. One thing you gotta do for sure is uh, we can fill out some of our sea chart while we're asking some of the fish where the um, the chart might be so. else one thing I know. um see we have 10 knights press I guess we can go to uh, outset island and uh, and all that so go ahead and get that out of the way There's that fish. Cause I'm not sure if we ever actually build out the thing for this. I should have read that. That's just great, I hope. Alright, where's the, that fish? I'll feed him again. Since I didn't read it the first time. Oh, give me a break. What's with using the same bait all the time? Don't they make premium brand of this stuff? Oh, well, such is the life of a fish. So you want to hear the info about this island again? I heard that beneath the big head boulder on top of the hill here on outset is where the greatest treasures of all, the golden triumph forks, are buried. But actually, Fry, I must have misheard or something. This one guy told me that what was actually buried beneath that weird rock some shard of something called a Triforce. Who ever heard of that? That's crazy. There's a big difference between Triumph Forks and Triforce. I mean, I think someone intentionally buried something misleading there. And that's all the info I got for you, Fry. 
Better be thankful for the clues you got for me. I'm serious. Hey, what's that? Why, small fry, that's a fine looking bow you got there. Where'd you get that? If you're not in any kind of hurry, why don't you stop and play with me a bit? Okay. Woohoo. Of course you will, Fry. And to be honest, you'll be helping me out. See, I've been having some ferocious body aches that only acupuncture can cure. Check it out. I'll give you 10 arrows for that bow of yours, and I want you to aim those suckers at me when I leap out of the sea. Yeah, see if you can't peg me with them. For each arrow you nail me with, I'll give you 10 rupees, and if you hit me all 10 times, I'll give you 200 rupees. What? You're worried about little old me, Fry? Ah, don't be. I'm a man fish. <laughs> I've spent my life being toughened up by seas rougher than any you've ever seen. Those arrows of yours ain't got nothing on me. Get ready to start, small fry. Oh man, here we go. Ah, that hit the spot. <laughs> they have art in the text. That's cool. That completely cured my stiff neck. W way to go, small fry. That was perfect. I guess I owe you the 200 rupees I promised you. We'll take it, you thief. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do it again, fry. Just scatter some more bait for me, okay? And with that, I'm off. And he is filled with arrows. That's... A little weird. Yeah, that game, I'm pretty sure, is not actually hard. Um, but I always get nervous thinking I'm going to miss. But I'm pretty sure, as long as you're sort of, like, aiming at him, it gives it to you, so... What's that? The night crest? Does that intrigue you, young one? It's still too early to discuss such things with you. But if you happen across ten of those, show them to me. Oh, so I have to show them to him. Okay. I was gonna say, it is not too early, my dude. Hey. Look. Oh. What? Why? They had this? A knight's crest? How many of those do you have? Hmm. I suppose the time has come for me to speak to you about the crest. The knight's crest is the symbol of a courageous knight. But not just anyone can gather them. No, oh, it takes a soul who possesses not only power, but wisdom and courage as well. Any courageous soul who gathers ten of these crests can learn a powerful new sword technique. Both my brother and I dreamt of learning this technique in our youth. We worked so hard to collect the crest. But it took many long years and adventures beyond count before we even approached finding ten of them, and we both grew old. It appears you might have enough might to learn that technique now. Perhaps, just perhaps, you can master it. Very good, Link. Heed my words. Hold B to build up power and then release it. Come at me now, do it. So 
Learned the hurricane spin. guess that's gonna do it for this episode guys the next one we have some more training that we're gonna do with this guy and uh, I'm yeah I'm not exactly looking forward to it but <laughs> I am looking forward to finally being done with it and then finishing up our um, exploration of the seas so Join me next time for that. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't. It's free to do. And you will get notified every time I upload. So, anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.